Treaty PT. Where'd you get those sweet teas? Welcome. Welcome to Trady Pady. I'm Trady Pady. And I'm Chester Copperpot, a.k.a. Chalky Chester, a.k.a. The Noah Slice. And so can you actually believe this is our 14th episode? 14th episode? And I'm very excited to be here today, Jay. You want to know why? Because we are reviewing one of my favorite treats in the world, Reese's. Actually, sorry, what would you call these? I think it's Reese's. I've had these treats once in my life. Reese's peanut butter caps. Oh. And the funny thing is, is uh, I've actually never noticed, but that is an apostrophe S. So this is actually Reese's candy bar. Is it possible that it's actually done incorrectly? Because Reese's, like Mars, it's got no apostrophe because it's not. It's just Mars. Oh. This actually belongs to Reese. If you're eating one of these and Reese comes up and says, hey, give me that. You should give it to him. <laughs> Do you want to know why this is my favorite candy bar? Chocolate, peanut butter. You cannot go wrong. It's the best combination. Remember when you were a kid and your mom would drop you off at the movies with a jar of peanut butter and a spoon? <laughs> my mother was Persian, so I got dropped off at different <laughs> things. <laughs> Hummus? <laughs> anything new with you this week at all? Oh, you know, not really, just keeping on, keeping on, life's the garden, dig it. And uh, how about you, TP? What's been going on with you? Hemorrhoids. Did you now? Yeah. How'd that go? It's it's a new thing, like hemorrhoids. For real? Yeah, honestly. Did you? Yeah, for real. Is it painful? Not at all. I've had Reese's once in my life, which was about a few months ago, we should be Sean talking about it on Kit Kat. So if you get a chance, check out Kit Kat. I do that now. As the old ad says, there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. I've never seen the ad in my life. I grew up with them, and there was all these funny commercials. So it's an American thing. I would, I would, I would say it's safe to say that this is a uh, a tradition in the uh, in the old USA confectionery aisle. It's simple, folks. It's peanut butter and chocolate. There's nothing else you can ask for. Is there a bigger company like Nestle, Cadbury, Who makes Mars? Reese's? These are the questions that people want to know. Imported by A and W Hollier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know who makes the Reese's off. <laughs> oh, there's nothing else to it. This is peanut butter and chocolate. That's all you need what to else know. What kid want? There's no catchphrases. These are the. These are. <laughs> there's no. There's no businesses. There's no. Cocoa life. There's no need when it's just wow. peanut butter and chocolate for any of that stuff. Okay, so... Should we try the cold ones first because they're yeah. cold? That's a very good idea. These are room temperature treats. And these are the fresh treats. Jazz hands. That's like jazz hands are growing up. Man hands. <laughs> the races. My heart is melting to pieces. As the old ad goes on the TV, is there's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. So there's no there's no rules here. I'm very new to the races, so and, and I've tried them one time before, and they were incredible with pride. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So let's get into the treats. So these are the fridge treats. All right. I'm super excited. Oh, that oh, cheers. Mm. There's nothing more you could ask for. It's treaty, isn't it? It's very treaty. It's a, it's a, it's an, it's an exceptionally beautiful flavor. There's only one thing you can have with Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and that's milk. All my milk because I'm a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to upset a couple of vegans that are in there. I'm going to lose two friends. <laughs> but it couldn't have been in Australia for a very long time. No, I wouldn't think so. I used to eat all the chocolate and just leave the peanut butter. Oh, like a peanut butter ball in the middle. And because you get two, I would eat all the chocolate and I would start stacking <laughs> peanut butter balls. And then I'd have this big ball of 
Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's uh, incredible. It takes a lot of self uh, control. Yeah. Haven't you ever had ice cream with Reese's peanut butter cups? I've only had it once before. If you're listening to the show, all right. And folks, don't forget to comment below what treat you would like us to do next here on TP. Okay, so that's the fridged Reese's. So now we're going to review the room temperature treats. And I got to tell you what, I'm excited because you know how much I love my melted chocolate and yeah, yeah. It's like going to a fair or a fete, and you go. And they've got the little packaging. So that's what they've actually done. It's like a baked treat that they serve at fates and fairs. That's what it is. <laughs> it's like a little bakery. Too. Well, actually, what it is, because it's got the little thing around it. It's very clever. Yeah. And it's and it and it and it and it, it fills its spot. It's peanut butter and dairy milk chocolate. It's not dairy milk chocolate. It's chocolate. This is Reese's and peanut butter. I was getting a job. Mm. If you want a treat that's going to satisfy you, your peanut butter cravings. Oh, wow. So, Chocky Chester, what's your favorite episode on Treaty PD so far? Well, it has to be the Much and Murray episode for Mars Bar. Was wow. that number one or number two? Number two. It's <clears> so <throat> funny to me. I laugh, every, I laugh a lot out loud every time I watch it. Wow, that's when we started, so it was a pretty rough show. But if you want to watch it, go on the links below. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Munchie Murray and Nosla. And what's your favourite character on Treaty Petey so far? Oh, definitely Sugary Sean. So what do you give the free to treat out of 10? 10 out of 10, hands down. Favourite thing ever. I want to do better than that. Peanut butter and chocolate is perfect for me. I give it 8 out of 10. <clears throat> low cut and then the room temperature treats out of 10 10 that's just me I do I, as you know some people don't like peanut butter I'm a fan of peanut butter and I'll rate it an 8 as well out of 10 so that is a 36 out of 40 so that's the highest rating treat so the newest treats can be better sometimes you can tie <laughs> Thank you very much for watching Treaty Petey. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for watching. I'm Treaty Petey. I'm Chester Copperpot. Make sure you subscribe. Treaty Petey, where'd you get those sweet So before we go, I just want to ask, how's your beautiful wife of 16 years going? Well, you know, we lost her in the cold, cold fall of 2019. <laughs> <laughs> so before we go, how's it going with your beautiful wife of 16 years? And our sweet child. Well, unfortunately, my wife, Darla, perished in the last uh, frost and... Yeah, it's just me and the me and the little child. You know, we're just we're just getting it on, just doing our thing. You know, plugging away. What a couple of crackheads, my dear. <laughs> that was the second time I got crabs. <laughs> <laughs> I am single by default. If a wife of sixteen years perish in the frost, hopefully one day we can find some beautiful lady that can. Take the place of my beautiful wife, Darla. Oh.